In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate some aspects of data, data validation in Microsoft Excel. So data validation is about the correctness and the accuracy of data in an application such as a spreadsheet. So here I have a spreadsheet that uh, stores information about journalists and the columns I'm interested in at the minute are mainly readers and topic. So in the readers value column here, as you can see, all the values are numbers. And all the values obviously have to be positive numbers. But there's nothing stopping me keying in a negative number or a very low number. So I can key in minus 100 and that's allowed. So there's a danger therefore that a user might enter invalid data. So what you can do in most applications including Excel is build in rules to ensure the user uh, enters correct data. So what I'm going to do here is highlight the range of cells I'm interested in. And then I'm going to go and build a rule. So the question here on the right hand side, the reader says that the reader's value for a journalist must contain a number between 1,000 and 10,000. When the user clicks on any of those cells, first of all, you're going to get a prompt saying that the reader's value should be a whole number between 1,000 and 10,000. That be, should be displayed with the heading on it, uh, reader's validation. And should the user enter an invalid value, uh, e.g. 50 in this case, any number below 1,000 or above 10,000. Uh, an alert, an error alert with the title incorrect readers numbers should, message should be displayed. Um, showing an error message as follows. Readers is outside the 1,000 to 10,000 range. Please make corrections. So the question asks says, is use the data validation feature in Microsoft Excel to create a, the rule described above so that any inappropriate or invalid data will be rejected should a user make a mistake. And then test that rule to prove that it works correctly by entering values such as 999 for the lower limit and 10,001 for the higher limit. So that'll just confirm that your, that your rule is correct. So for data validation, we need to go to the data menu. And there's icons here that uh, lead us to the, the correct solution. So the data validation uh, icon has the little tick box and the uh, red warning symbol below it. So what it says here is, it says pick a list, pick from a list of rules to limit the type of data that can be entered in a cell. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm entering data into a range of cells. So I'm putting this rule on all the cells. So for my uh, readers uh, column here, that range of cells from E6 down as far as E20, which are currently highlighted. Uh, as you can see, by default, Excel will allow any value into that cell, into that cell or, or range of cells. So what I want to do is I want to set that to a whole number. And this whole number could be between two values, could be not between, etc. So I've got the whole range of options here. I need to choose between. And my minimum value, as was mentioned in the question, is 1,000. And the maximum value is 10,000. So what I'm doing is this is going to be applied to all the cells in this range at the moment. So I'm going to OK that. Um, but I'll be coming back in a moment. I'll be looking at the input message and the error alert. But I'm just going to do the, this basic setting first to track the, to, to visualize and see what's happening. So we'll hit the OK button. And we'll go over here and try and key in. So if, as I float over the cells, I'm not told anything. I'm just uh, can float over as normal. There's no message or no prompt. So I'm going to put in a legal value, minus 100. And all Excel is telling me is it doesn't match the restrictions for the cell. So ideally, I'd like a slightly more informative message than that. The main thing is it's, it's as you can, when I cancel this, the value is going to revert back to what it was previously. So if I put in a value of 1001, Excel will allow it. So that's within the rules. So I'll just undo that to go back to the original values. And I'll go back and read the question on a bit more detail. So I've, I've set the, the range for to be between 1,000 and 10,000. But what I haven't done is I haven't put in this input message. So and the input message requires that the, uh, the reader value should be in that range. So I'm just going to copy the message, the prompt that should appear, or the guidance that should appear. And I'm going to go back to the same range of cells and go back to data validation again. And the rule that I had a moment ago is still in place. Now I'm going to put in my input message. 
So I'll just move the window over here to my left. So the the message should be the text here. Readers should be a whole number between 1,000 and 10,000, and it should have the title readers validation. So I'll put in the message first, just so I can go back, and then I'll put in the, the title on it. So it's readers validation is the title it's missing currently. And I'll okay that. So now as I can see, as I float over any one of the cells or click on any of the cells, the message pops up that my telling me that my value should be between 1,000 and 10,000. So that's giving me some guidance. So now if I go and make a mistake, and again, I'll put in a value below 1,000, put in 999, I still don't get an informative correction message. So I get this warning message here at the start, or this uh, guidance will say at the start to tell me it's between 1,000 and 10,000. But when I make the mistake, it still doesn't really uh, give me kind of strict guidelines and a strict message to say, uh, you're doing something illegal and here's how to correct it. So I'll cancel that. I'll go back again to my range of cells and go into validation one more time. And this time I need to go for my error alert. Okay, so I'll just cancel it for a woman just to save, get my message, so to save me typing. So I'll just copy the prompt I want to put in. Go back to my range of cells and highlight them. Up again to data validation. And I said that my settings are okay. My input message is okay, but my error alert message is the is the bit that's missing at the moment. So that's the message I want to have to give me precise instructions as to what should be done. And I need the heading on that. It says incorrect readers numbers. So the title on it should be incorrect reader numbers. And the style or the um, the how the message presents itself can be changed as well. So I can have a warning or a, a stop or a warning or an information prompt. Okay, so either of those three choices is fine. Um, I suppose usually for error messages, you would you like red as the background. So that's kind of the normal um, default, I suppose. So I'll okay that. So now I have my rule built in full. So I, what I've done there in three steps, I could have done in one step. But I just wanted to show it how it evolves over the the uh, various phases. So now I go in and I'll take my 3000 and replace it with 999. And uh, I'm now getting all the details I want to guess. So as well as the initial prompt to remind me it's between 1000 and 10,000, then when I put in an incorrect number, this box pops up with the, with the title on it, incorrect reader numbers, and the appropriate message. So it's given me very precise instructions as to what I need to do. So that's the first example of a um, validation on a cell. Okay, so what I've done is I have done the validation on the entire range of cells. And uh, so the rule now applies to any cell in that range. So I'll just demonstrate it one more time. Down here in the bottom, I'll put in 10,001. And again, same, same, uh, same outcome. So that's an example of a um, data validation in Excel where I'm applying it to numbers. So my, my value there had to be between two values. You can also apply a similar rule to say the topic. Okay, in this column here, where the topic is all the, all the instances of it so far are either sport, politics or fashion. So we could have another rule to um, ensure that only the only values accepted are that. But we'll require that in a separate clip. So for the moment, a, the way what we've done here is we've built a rule which is limited to the numbers between 1,000 and 10,000, and we've built in uh, input messages and error alerts to guide the user to ensure that uh, the, the possibility of the incorrect data or invalid data uh, getting into the spreadsheet is restricted, for this column at least. So that's the end of the clip.